First alert forecast, we've got a cooler morning for everyone in the next couple of mornings are cooling down thanks to lower humidity, which does come with some added bonuses. I wanted to point out on the Skeeter meter, got a couple things going for us today to knock back the number of mosquitoes that are out and about. As we have lower heat, actually mosquitoes thrive in that very, very warm, humid environment. So lowering, lowering the humidity helps too, but also moving the air. Even if you sit by a fan outside on the still days, know we have more winds today and that helps to kind of keep those mosquitoes at bay. So at least it's more moderate the next couple of days while we have the cooler, drier air in place. And then the added bonus of those winds today. It also helps you if you want to sit in the shade and enjoy that breeze because in the full sun, which we have plenty of today, that can make it feel hotter, of course, as always. But using just that humidity in the shade, we're starting out around 59 degrees in Knoxville, 75 at noon, just kind of hanging out in the mid to upper 70s as the humidity levels keep dropping this afternoon. And those winds are turning from southwest to northwest and gusting to around 25 miles per hour. So notice more of a breeze midday, afternoon and evening, and then back to mid 70s this evening. So in that first alert forecast where you live, if you're and I just wondering, OK, how hot is it? course again in the shade it helps but you're still closer to 80 Athens but 78 Loudon and Madisonville 77 in Knoxville and Oak Ridge first alert forecast where you live 73 Crossville to Oneida 74 in Wartburg to 75 La Follette I think it'll be around 73 this afternoon in Harlan and Barberville to 76 in Rutledge and 77 Pigeon Forge Newport your high today around 75 so definitely just below average for everyone we'll keep it nice and calm through tomorrow morning with some stray fog we could see just a stray shower as we go through the evening today and it was kind of scooting right by southeastern Kentucky that's mainly because there's a little more movement up into Kentucky so everything's staying peaceful more fog again tomorrow morning as we go through another sunshine filled day just kind of seeing a little speck of rain that could pop up in the mountains you can see that there so just very very limited rain only because it's so dry so our mountains are the best spot to try to create a pop up in the short term while we have those lower humidity levels and below average temperatures. I do think your Thursday starts off even cooler at 53 degrees. So then we're getting to right at eight degrees below average, hopping back to 70 at noon tomorrow in the sunshine. High hanging out in those mid 70s throughout your afternoon below average temperatures across the board in the next couple of days. Well, in the week still clear, but I wanted to zoom out to show you what's going on in the region because storms brewing in Texas in the Midwest will start to at least creep into West Tennessee by Saturday. That kind of pushes out more of a thin sheet of clouds here at home and is gradually increasing the humidity during the day on Saturday. So that climbs in the afternoon with just a, it looks like a stray shower trying to reach the plateau Saturday afternoon into the Overnight to early Sunday morning, a few more showers and storms start to press in. So it's a little more scattered on our higher elevations Sunday afternoon and evening. We're starting to kind of pulse up a few storms, getting back into that humidity going into early next week. So the quiet weather pattern is something we can enjoy in the short term on that first alert eight day planner. Humidity coming back into play helps to queue up those storms. So below average temperatures, low humidity, limited to just a stray pop up in our higher elevations today and tomorrow. Going into your weekend, heat starts climbing Saturday, then humidity in the afternoon as well. And that's where those rain chances return. So not a washout right now. We're really watching for scattered downpours and storms to pulse up at times looking ahead to next week.